Okay, so your best day as a Trojan. Okay, so probably – Probably there's uh, my very best day as a Trojan was, um, and there are multiple days, but uh, probably was when, okay, we talked about a lot of games. Uh, the two Notre Dame games in the Coliseum when we beat, came back and beat Montana was hugely gratifying because I had the, by the way, I was in a cast the next day, didn't play against Hawaii, and only had two days of Rose Bowl practice before we played Michigan that, that year. Um, playing Notre Dame in, um, in South Bend when we were just clicking on offense, which was a lot of fun. And UCLA at home when we were clicking on offense and really kind of blew them out. Uh, and, of course, the Rolls Bowl, how can you not throw those in there? But the, the, so there's several kind of moments, not any one moment sticks out. But probably the most – something is indescribable was when I was broadcasting for USC. I did that for 15 years. And my son, Michael, uh, was on the team during the Pete Carroll era. And I got to go down on the field before every game and play catch with him. And we did this at the Coliseum. We did this at Rose Bowls. We did this at the National Championship Games um, against Oklahoma. Uh, we did this in, in South Bend, or Auburn. We did this everywhere. Everywhere he traveled, I got to go down on the field um, and, uh, and play catch with him before, kind of early outs. Uh, when the kickers come out and before before they got their pads on and stuff. And that was like the coolest thing in the world. And so the last time we did it in the Coliseum was senior day against UCLA. And uh, so we, we do our thing. Um, and then I I uh, walk over, like I always do, give him a hug. Hey, have a good game. And Michael, got, you know, he, got, he was a holder uh, for field goals and extra points the last three years of his career there. Um, end up throwing a couple of TDs. Um, he actually, I think, may have the NC to a record because his first two pass attempts were for touchdowns, uh, which was kind of cool. One, one at quarterback, and the other at uh, when it was a uh, when it was a holder, it was a fake field goal play that they put in to beat actually beat Washington. They needed that. <clears throat> so after UCLA, his last game in college, seeing I go over and give him a hug, and I said, Michael, something like tears are like. Oh, yeah. Rolling down my face, right? It's like the dream stuff, you know, because I got to play and live out my dream on the same field that he got to play on, and he allowed me to step back in to those moments uh, with him being there. And I said, Michael, I just want you to know how um, happy, uh, thrilled I am that you allowed me to do this with you, and you took the time to do this with me. It was so special, and he said something like, "Dad was really special for me too." Well, he runs in the locker room, and I'm bawling, headed to the sidelines, <laughs> you know. Um, and that was that was you know that was my best day, not about it, because it it sort of superseded the sport. It was more about life and having that opportunity to connect with your son, but bring back lots of memories from the past that were so meaningful. So very cool. I, I tell you what, Paul, really appreciate you sharing that with me. And that I've, I've heard a lot of guys talk about their best day from graduating to the day they signed. But that moment with your son before every game, man, how special is that? And that's what you did when he was a little kid. You threw to him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there, I mean, just, again, fill the dreams like so. Very, very awesome experience that I got to have, got to share with uh, Firstborn. 